Hey all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai, and today we're going to be collecting up some new little seedlings to add in for Gab's Forest. So, let's get to it. Alright, so right here we have a wild rose. As you can see, there's a few of them. We have one little one. Oh no, that's part of the same one. It just went underground and came back up. So, we got this wild rose that's running all through here, which is also interlaced with some poison ivy and other things that we don't want, but it's there. So, the wild rose grows really, really quickly back. I'm just going to come in and actually do a lot of big cuts and just take this back to a very manageable little tree in here. Just for the sake of my fingers and not getting completely eaten up by these guys today. Alrighty. So now that we, we went through and we trimmed it up real quick, we just gotta get under here and get a good root dig. So. If you look real, real closely in here, let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna have to add some extra zoom on top of the zoom it gave me. All right. If we look really, really close, you can see the trunk right at the tip. There's actually a really nice looking little trunk in there, which will be great. So I gotta get that dug out and we're gonna be transplanting this over to the forest. Let me bring you back out a bit. So we're looking at the trunk and it's growing out a slope back in this way. So I'm just going to come in here. And I actually got all the way down to some rock. So I know that we got it out from there on that side. And I'm just lifting the soil to kind of loosen it up. So it's been raining a lot lately, which helps out a huge deal with this. But you can start to see this trunk right in here. So we're just going to keep working it. Sorry, I know my shoulder is probably in your way really bad right now. Okay. So there we go nice trunk on this little guy we are going to come in and cut off all the top roots and then we're going to leave the rest of the roots and that's how we're going to plant it up in there but i think this will be a good addition to gav's forest we're definitely gonna have to trim it back some more though let's head on to the next one Alright, so right here is just a little bucket of red maples, and I feel like we can't have Gav's Forest without a red maple, so I want to add one of these little guys to it. It's nothing big, just a little seedling that's been growing in here. This is going to be its second year growing, so we're just going to break up the soil a little bit around here, and then grab up our little tree. And we're going to go get that one planted up as well. Alright. Maybe we'll add just one more. Alright, so the last one to add here. I feel like we need some coniferous representation in this forest. So, I've got a few nice little black pines. I'm just going to dig down real deep and try to pull it up with the soil. And see what we can get out of it. A lot of them are actually not even planted that deep, so it shouldn't be too hard at all. There we go, we got this nice little guy right here. Oh, right here. Sorry about that. Wanted to get everything planted. Alright, so we have our three new trees. Our black pine, our red maple, our rose bush, and then we have Gav's forest off to the side over here. There we go. 
And now we got to figure out exactly how we want to plant it up. But first, we need to come in and do some cleanup. So like on this little guy here, he's got a whole bunch of little dead um, needles. So I'm going to be coming through and cleaning up every one of these little needles in here. And making sure everything looks healthy. Um, the red maple itself is just going to get planted up. So that's probably going to end up right over and in here. Then we're going to do the black pine right here. And the rose bush is going to come over and fill into this empty gap over here. Alright, so for now, I'm going to get everything cleaned up and I'll be right back with Alright, so we got everything trimmed up now. Now it's just time to get it all replanted in here. I'm just going to use my little shovel here. And open up a nice little spot. Alright, so now that's all opened up. Oh, I almost put the wrong tree in the wrong spot. I already had this planned out. We're going to drop in a little black pine here. And get that one all set into place. So that one's looking pretty happy right there. Okay, so the next one that we're going to set in here. Just got to get through. There's some bigger, some bigger lava chunks in here too that I have to work my way through. But Okay, so now we have a little gap here. And that's where we're going to be adding our red maple. Getting the roots a bit spread out. And then over here is where we will be adding our rose. So our rose, we need to get a little bit deeper because it's got some longer tap roots on it. You're going to notice I did a little bit of a trim. A little bit of a trim <laughs> on the rose. So that's worked its way back. Um, I'm going to have to pull this rock for now. Pull the rock and make a big, big opening. I forgot how big the root base was on that one. Let's, let's give it a look-see here. Alright, that's about right there. Um, now we're just... Oh, sorry, I bumped you. Now we're just going to trim up some of these roots. So that they're not super, super long. Get rid of some of the ones that we don't really need as much as well. Okay, so that's going to allow me to drop down right into here. I kind of want this one to come out at an angle right there. Okay. Maybe a little bit more of an angle. Yeah. That's what we're looking for right there. Now let's get our little mountain back in. I feel like this little guy's looking pretty good right now. Um, we may add a little bit of wire to this tree. But this is going to be the only one we're going to add some wire to just to give it a little bit of something. A little bit of something. Let's see what I've got reaching in front of you real quick. Okay, sorry about that. You had to look at my hair. So because it is spring, I'm going to do a loose wrap. just so that it's not super tight on the tree and the tree can continue to grow. All right, 
So that one's up and in there. So then nip it here. And just close kind of like a little circle at the top. And all we're going to do now is just give it a little bit of a, a twist shape. Just a little bit though. Nothing too, nothing overly serious here. So now we got just a little bit of shape put into it. So let's add a little bit of water. It'll help push the soil back down and around the roots. Which also helps me know that I may have to come in and pack a little bit more in different areas. I really like this trunk on this uh, rose. I think that's going to play out beautifully. Alrighty. I'm pretty happy with it. Everything's not as refined here into the nice triangle shape as Gav's original forest, but I'm happy with how it's working. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, subscribe to my channel. And if you really, really enjoy my content, you should hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.